Uive! Uive! Yandar! Uive! 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 Hey, Roman, give me a call. I'll sing for your next movie. Hey, welcome back to our stupid racks of Corp. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. <coughs> Thank you to everybody sports on Patreon. Follow us Twitter account, subscribe to like button. Today we have a video. This is uh it's called it's from Asian Boss. We've seen a few videos from them. Yes. And it's how much do Indians make and what do they do for a living? And so they, it's a street interview kind of thing. Uh, Indians apparently are <laughs> much more open to how much do Indians make that's what it says, and man. what do they do for a living? Yeah. Boy. There, it's all one thing. That the level of interest on this one's going to be really high. <laughs> um, well, you don't know, and this is uh, <laughs> let's let's see. Um, <laughs> I mean, this has been a topic of conversation for me and my friends for many many moons. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we've contemplated and argued about this very subject. Why would you argue about it? That's well. Weird. Because there's so many stories out there about this, so many varied opinions around the world, it's hard to find the actual truth. I'll be very interested to see what they come up with here. Good Lord. Shut up. Uh, yeah, I've seen those who are 5,000 um, per month are very happy and happy. और uh, मैंने ऐसे लोग भी देखे हैं जिन पे 50 50 लाख रुपीस है बट स्टिल दे आर लाइक नो यार मेरे ये ये प्रॉब्लम है मेरी कार का प्रॉब्लम है मेरा शॉपिंग का प्रॉब्लम है डू यू थिंक इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ कैपेबिलिटी और लक और अपॉर्चुनिटी आई पर्सनली बिलीव इन लक आई बिलीव इन लक हेलो बॉसेस इट्स कीरा फ्रॉम एशियन बॉस यू मस्ट हैव वॉच पॉपुलर वीडियोस ऑनलाइन अबाउट पीपल बीइंग आस्क्ड व्हाट दे डू फॉर अ लिविंग इन रिच प्लेसेस लाइक न्यूयॉर्क but have you ever wondered what people outside of us do for a living for example in countries like india well let's hit the streets of mumbai to find out i bet none of them are doctors or engineers do you want to know about how much indians make our first question is what do you do for a living i i do acting and uh, modeling sometimes that's awesome engineering now mechanical See, I am working with the banking banking sector right now i am jobless i was uh, Playing music for the club. I'm a banker by profession. Um, I'm into analytics and uh, financial planning. I run a startup. I am the CEO of the company, and we specialize in making a lot of uh, AI-based products for data. I'm an anchor. I'm an Arjun Mirchi. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. Can you ask how much you make per month or per year? Uh, fifty to seventy k, somewhere in between. Per year, around seven eight lakh. so would you say that what you make is considered pretty average in india no uh typically since my background is such that you know uh, i'm an ai data scientist and uh, you know i have multiple years of experience so i come in a very different uh, percentage of segment right and if you cut across a broad spectrum uh, of people then they make much lesser uh, what amount would you say is average considered average uh i would think uh, an average uh, person working in mumbai would earn about a lakh per annum per month how much does an average mechanical engineer make around 4 5 lakhs per annum per annum okay uh would you say that is above or be below average considering um, india it's pretty average uh, so how much do you think it uh, takes for someone to live uh, normally without worrying uh, live comfortably in mumbai how much does one need to earn per month uh, it would be around 1 lakh to 1 lakh 50 thousand would be really good numbers for people same here in la live a very <laughs> average life but without worrying it's so not minimum 20000 minimum 20000 jo matlab ek jhopde mein rehna hai 
रेंट मतलब पाँच छः हज़ार रुपये देना है और बाकी तो बीस हज़ार रुपये मिनिमम चाहिए चाहिए उसके बाद उसको अपना पेट पालना है उसके पास अगर फैमिली रहेगी तो ये एस टू यहाँ पे मैंने वो लोग भी देखे हैं जो फाइव थाउजेंड पर मंथ भी बहुत अच्छे से खुशी से रहते हैं और मैंने ऐसे लोग भी देखे हैं जिन पे फिफ्टी फिफ्टी लैख रुपीज़ है बट स्टिल दे आर लाइक नो यार मेरे ये ये प्रॉब्लम है मेरी कार का प्रॉब्लम है मेरा शॉपिंग का प्रॉब्लम है so it's all about how you live your life yep see mumbai uh, again it's a very difficult uh, environment to exist right so the cost of living is really really high so any fresher who's passing out of college will need at least 40 to 50000 to kind of go and live comfortably in mumbai so hmm. you may not have a party every weekend but you know you could make may not day. may not have, have a party reasonable living in terms of a home a rented home and plus eat Uh, pro, you know, reasonably well. I think minimum one lakh. I live with my family, and even if I stay with my family, the expense, considering all the expenses, I think it should be minimum one lakh. How possible do you think it is to earn that sort of money in Mumbai? Uh, it depends. Uh, I've been in this media like I've been working for five six years, so I should have been earning one lakh till now, but that's not the case. Do you think it's a matter of capability or luck or opportunity? I personally believe in luck. I believe in luck. It's a luck because I've seen people who are, who are working very hard and they have not reached that level, and there are people who are not working but they have reached that level. So for me, I think it's luck. Uh, so Mumbai is one of the wealthiest cities in India and uh, consists of many billionaires. How often do you uh, see people struggling financially or living in poverty in Mumbai? Uh, in Mumbai, I think there is a lot of poverty. Uh, I think 60 to 70 percent are lower middle class or lower than lower class, which is what I feel. This is my point of view. I say Mumbai के Mumbai को छोड़के आप थाना में जाओ, कल्याण में जाओ, टिटवाला में जाओ. आप district में अगर एक district में अगर ज़्यादा deep में जाओगे तो बहुत सारे rural areas हैं जहाँ पे बच्चों लोग को education नहीं है, किसी को घर नहीं है. मतलब घर है लेकिन वो वैसे नहीं घर की जहाँ जैसे आप बोलो कि मुंबई अमीर है ऐसे नहीं है तो आप जितने अंदर जाओगे अंदर घुसोगे उतने आपको तकलीफें पता चलेगी क्योंकि एक गरीब को उठना ही नहीं है एक गरीब अपनी सोच को बढ़ाना ही नहीं चाहता ही वॉन्ट्स टू जस्ट ले डाउन ऑन अ फ्लोर एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू बी लाइक नहीं मैं गरीब हूँ मैं ऐसे ही अपनी जिंदगी निकालूंगा मेरी पी डी में जाएगी और अमीर इंसान अमीर क्यों है आज की डेट में क्योंकि वो मेहनत करने पे बिलीव करता है वो अपनी सराउंडिंग चेंज करता है वो अपने आप को उस जगह सजाने की आ, क्या कहते हैं ना अपने आप को तराशता है अपने आप को ठोकता है पीटता है यू नो कुछ अपने लिए मेहनत करने की कोशिश करता है ताकि अपनी फैमिली को अपनी पीढ़ी को आगे अच्छे से आ, आ, मतलब यू नो सर्वाइव के लिए आ, साथ दे सके वाई डू थिंक दिस कैप well Agreed. the corporate entity is a one thing where a lot of wealth have been transferred to uh, the top 1% of the people living in the country and we indians tend to believe in th- in the jobs and we are trying to settle for whatever we get because of the intense family pressure that we get so a lot of people have really good skills and a, a lot of people have talents but mm-hmm. their talent gets killed in india just because they have the family responsibility and we as a men uh we want to look after our family so it's our responsibility and doesn't matter if you want to kill our dreams or if you want to uh like like throw everything else just to feed our family and that's fine let's say you are you're a painter right let's say you're a painter you're a genius painter you don't have money to pay the rent and then you have children will you be able to pursue your painting career rich people can do that once you win you win more and once you lose you lose more and it's it's in everything it's about being in places and then if you're born from a wealthy family it's more likely you'll end up wealthy because you're studying the best schools you're meeting the right people and it's difficult to get out of poverty because you're trapped and then there's like prejudice and stuff we were also interested in the living costs in mumbai how much do you think a typical monthly rent looks in mumbai very similar to la around 1 lakh फिलहाल तो मैं ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड रुपीज रेंट पर रूम मतलब पर मंथ रूम में रहता हूँ वहाँ पे यही रूम सेवन एट हजार सात आठ हजार रुपए का मिलता है यही सेम रूम 
और यहाँ पे आके उसके लिए ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड रुपीज़ देना पड़ रहा है तो अच्छा तो नहीं लगता उस रूम में रहना लेकिन स्टिल रहना पड़ रहा है क्योंकि मुंबई एक ऑलरेडी एक वास्ट सिटी है वास्ट पॉपुलेटेड सिटी है सो ऑन एन एवरेज आई थिंक इफ यू आर लिविंग इन द सबर्ब्स इट वुड रेंज फ्रॉम एनी वे फ्राम ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड टू अबाउट फोर्टी थाउजेंड ऑफकोर्स इन इफ यू आर लिविंग इन साउथ मुंबई देन आई थिंक रेंटल्स आर अपवर्ड ऑफ अ लैक सो इफ फॉर अ आई मीन लाइक अ टू बी एच के इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे इन अ प्रॉपर्टी वेर विच हैज सम फेसिलिटीज लाइक अ जिम एंड एक्सेट्रा मैम एक घर खरीदना कितना महंगा पड़ गया मुंबई में अभी घर घर खरीदना मतलब वेरी डिफिकल्ट है क्योंकि आज मुंबई में ठाना में प्रॉपर्टीज की प्रॉपर्टीज का जो वैल्यू है बहुत बढ़ गया है आज मुंबई में अगर ठाना में वन बी एच के भी अगर लेना है तो आपके हाथ में मिनिमम वन बी एच के के लिए सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी लैक्स होना जरूरी है सो इट्स अबाउट यू नो एनी थिंग बिटवीन थर्टी थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड हाफ अ मिलियन डॉलर इन द शेयर ऑफ टाउन यू काइंड ऑफ यूर यू नो मैड नंबर्स आउट यूर इन टर्म्स ऑफ थर्टी सी आर फोर्टी सी आर हंड्रेड सी आर इट्स अ वेरी कॉमन थिंग आउट यूर यू नीड एटलीस्ट वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू सी आर टू विन बाय अ प्लेस इन थाने एंड बोरेबली so that means you'll you know an average the person who's actually paying tax in middle class will have to go in for EMIs and for the rest of 25 years of his life he's just going to be churning out EMIs and when it's a blink of eye his life is gone so uh, do you plan to buy a house i do have a house i have an ancestral house so mm. i just was lucky that my parents uh, decided to be in this side of town and uh, so i'm you know but today if you ask me that go and buy a house personally of uh, you know 5 to 6 year in this area it's going to be a drain i can't do it trying to buy a house right now and it's very expensive oh, yeah it's, it's expensive okay uh, would you say it is possible for the youth current not here to be able to buy a house i don't think so it's possible unless your dad has a lot of money <laughs> i don't think that's possible i i choose a different way of life I I would not go for property, uh, buying property, changing places from one place to another place. For me, it's like a hoax. It is like a, this race is kind of attracting people more and people more and more towards them. Do you think you'd be able to afford a house someday? Of course, yes. Because uh, the skills, if you're talking about my own thing, yeah, I I do have the skills to. uh make myself in the top 1% i have, even though i don't belong to the top 1% family of this country uh, but i know i can still break that chain and uh, i can make myself into the top 1% through my hard work so with the current high inflation rates worldwide people are experiencing the financial crisis how has inflation affected you personally it it affects in many ways yaar yeah. matlab the cost of living the cost matlab the spends you do for me personally it is about traveling so traveling cost is much more higher because we being in the media insanely we higher travel by train or we can't take public transport we have to have our own vehicles so the petrol cost for me transportation is the most affected category because of inflation it affected my father he has to work more and the wage is lesser like that and people are getting replaced by other people like everybody's there are more people on the world so there is less jobs and more people are willing to work for less money i mean i hear from my uh, house help and all that it really affects them right i mean if your vegetables are costing like 150 rupees a kilo uh, even for a vegetarian just day to day living is just becoming that much more difficult <laughs> so i feel uh, i see that? I, yeah uh, the people who are actually struggling with inflation i know the average youngsters would be struggling with the rising tomato cost yeah yeah i've heard about that sanity i uh, saw the newspapers it skyrocketed if the government can't come go around controlling very basic uh, necessities for human beings then what are they doing how long can you go about cooking in the kitchen without an onion or a tomato because we indians have a tendency to have a lot of that in our uh, daily diet very right? true suddenly you take the uh, onion suddenly you take the tomato tomorrow you take the potatoes and what am i eating then you know what the government sit in the boardroom meetings and discuss those economic numbers they're good uh, in the, and they you know they can be you can you can tamper and make them look green right 
but micro you know inflation really boils down to if you actually actually ask an average cab driver you know how was he happy in 2014 or huh. is he happy now Ronald Reagan second the term so you get is a before 2014 i could save something uh, current times with the gst killing me on anything and everything and my buying power going down uh, have you ever considered going abroad to make more money no bollywood is here professionals <laughs> everybody goes there there is a lot of cash flow in dubai suppose as if i uh, i have the same skills and apply for the job in uh, india then i would relatively earn around 20 25000 as per mm. my experience but at the same time if i do the same thing uh, i would earn around 50 to 60000 in uh, dubai but that's not enough in dubai to live a uh, good life but it's good for the experience once you enter the uh, job industry in dubai then it relatively opens a lot of doors for you not really i feel the opportunity here right now uh, is a lot more so with the pace that india is growing uh, and uh, in terms of our gdp proje- projections as well i think uh, we are in a very sweet spot for the next 10 years or so so i would not contemplate on leaving india I think the prospects here are far better than what we would probably get abroad. Mm. Do you think the government can do anything to reduce the cost of living for the ordinary citizen? I don't think so it's possible. It's a vicious cycle. I don't think so. If one price is rising, the other it will get the other will get affected. So I don't think so. कपड़े तो कपड़े लेना ही है, खाना खाना ही है, सब कुछ चीजें करना ही है, और वो सब चीजें धीरे-धीरे महंगी हो रही है. तो आई थिंक सो सैलरी पे ज़्यादा ध्यान देना चाहिए कमाने पे ज़्यादा ध्यान देना चाहिए ना कि खर्च कम करना चाहिए अगर आप फालतू खर्च जैसे सिगरेट विगरेट पीते हो तो वो आप कम कर सकते हो दारू और भी पीते हो तो बाकी ये सब खाने पीने की चीज़ें इन सबको अगर आप खर्च कम करना बोलते हो तो वो आपका एक तरीके से लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड गिराना हो गया गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विच नीड टू चेंज द रेगुलेशन एंड रियली रियली टैक्स द सुपर रिच because uh, that's where the income really comes in and if you really go down to the statistics to look at the tax data it is the middle class which is taking the heavy load of tax and uh, the super rich class you know from what i see they would end up you know uh, uh, you know very similar very, to here very low tax because you know they kind of find dodgy ways in terms of declaring themselves an agriculturalist i think the government needs to do something about in terms of uh, you know the disparity the disparity is large Hmm. A lot in that video. Huh? A lot in that video. There was. Yeah, and I would re- I would retitle the video. To to uh, what would you retitle? Yeah, it's, it's it's just the flat how much do Indians make and what do they do for a living is not an intriguing thing. That's why at the very beginning of it my thought was, "Oh great, this should be very exciting, but that's all we're going to talk about." I would have I would have rephrased it to something more along the lines of is the cost of living worth the price of working? Hmm. Something something a little bit more cuz cuz it covered way more than just what do you make and do for a living. way more than that uh, it, it was far far more interesting and important in terms of what everyone was talking about yeah do you i feel like america has had this um stigma about talking about what you make and i don't know where it came from originally in terms of like people don't like to, you don't ask it's ingrained of, at least for when i was a kid you don't ask people what they make you right know, um, and people don't, people don't say talk. what they make Uh, which actually leads to even within family the closest family members don't talk about what they which make which i feel like leads to uh corporations being able to you know get away with not paying people what they should be making because no, yeah. no one wants to talk about what they I mean make. they'll talk about it privately and declare I mean obviously you can know just from the statistics of what people file on their taxes you can get a ballpark average of what people are yeah, making yeah. but yeah it's true and unfortunately in addition to that there is this not just here it's all over the world and clearly it's in india as well this very in for me i it's just terrifying this focus on what you make versus how you're living mm-hmm. um and that 
a certain amount of money. I saw this guy on a reel on Instagram who's, who's net worth right now is $350 million. And he said, it's very true that how much you make is irrelevant because there's, there's, he said, if, if you like the high, for example, of being able to buy the things you want and do the things you do, it's like any other endorphin rush you're going to get. Eventually, it just becomes chasing the dragon. You just don't get a high off of it anymore. And then, then what does it even matter at that mm -hmm. point? He said, yeah, there's certain things I'm thankful I don't have the pressures of having to, you know, think about certain things financially. He said, but there's a certain point where you just, for, for me... You can't put a price tag on freedom, man. I, I just, I've, I've lived both lives. I've lived the life of you need to make a certain amount of money because of what's expected of you from a spouse or from family or from the culture. Um, what it feels like, you know, to quote unquote buy a house, which you, yeah. you, you aren't the one who bought anything. When you get into a loan, you're owned for a very long time unless you get out of that loan. Um, so there's this whole mindset that was a lot of it fabricated and created back in the 1950s here in America with financial institutions who made it a point that the American dream was to buy a home so that more people would have more money put into the banks. Um, it's kind of scary. Uh, and there's there's one particular organization here that has so many banks that they're eventually going to own about 60 percent of the American real estate um, just because people are getting talked into buying up buying a home well it's because it used to be a good investment um it used to be um because, yeah well it they, used to be and then the boomers ruined everything well so did uh, 2008 no well, yeah but <laughs> I, I blame the banks more than the boomers uh well who were the ones that funded who started those banks <laughs> it was the boomers um they bought a house for you know two cents and a donkey and now it's worth two million dollars and they're like yeah you should buy a home when there's no way anybody from my generation is outside of you know people that probably came from wealth yeah. in other families. And, and it's all relative, too. I mean, for example, the actor choosing to live in Mumbai or the DJ choosing to live in Mumbai, it's like I, I, there's only two places I'm I'm living in the United States where I would want to live, and that would be here or New York because that's where the predominant amount of the acting work is. Mm -hmm. And it's worth the cost to do that, and I've made choices. Like I said, freedom is number one. Uh, I don't, thankfully, you know, Indrani and I, we don't need things for us. It's about the freedom to do what we want to do when we want to do it. It's about, uh, you know, if I had a lot of money, the bulk of the money that I would spend it on mm -hmm. is not on things. It would be on experiences. Yeah. It would be on travel and travel, food yeah. and just funding more of what I'm presently doing. Exactly. And and that's that would be my hope for everybody and not judging people at all. It's amazing how many people are judged by what they earn or don't earn or what they do or don't do. Yeah, it's it's a it's a terrible terrible problem. Obviously, and I know the obviously differences between the the rupee versus the dollar. Yeah, and of like, course, it's the fact that you know, huge what they were putting the U.S. number. It, it even though it equates to me because you know I live here, I yeah. pay in U.S. dollars, right. and so right. our yeah the thought our, of what we would have saved uh, living uh, in India. Yeah, the fact that you know I I make U.S. dollars, and there I could pay two hundred or four hundred dollars for for a room is just it's Absurd. unthinkable to me because it's well the difference ten would be, times that or whatever yeah the di just so you know the difference the difference would be and I've I've done the math I've talked with Indrani about it we've talked about it many yeah. times in regard to you go from being what is basically lower middle class in America mm -hmm. to because that's we live that's our lifestyle here yeah we are lower middle class yep and we would immediately be Upper in. Class the middle of upper class in India yeah. simply by living in a different place in the world. And it's it's really wild. And obviously, since we're YouTube, we would still be making in U.S. dollars. Right, it would so be U.S. Like, dollars, but that would convert, and we would immediately be in a position where we would we would jump just by moving from lower middle class to middle upper class. Like I've talked to um, Mark Bennington, because where he yeah, lives. Yeah, like, Everybody lives around me, and I was like, what do you charge? And he says this number, and I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, and it's <laughs> and even this more. Is the, this is where the extreme wealthy I've, celebrities I, live. I've, yeah, I've talked, I've I get run it. numbers I, by I, I know Indrani it. as well. And I know the reason for that is obviously right. the rupee No, the if, 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 Indrani and I, if Indrani and I lived in Kolkata, um, and we lived in the family house, mm. my stars. Yeah, that'd be awesome, right? Oh, my goodness. Um, but, but, uh, 
Obvious. And it's about what you, it's about what you value. Yeah. What what are, where are your values? What yeah. what is it that you particularly value? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, that was a better video really than the title video um, because it was real people talking about their real problems yeah. and the, the like what they the reality of what they actually make. It's uh, always super interesting. So Very. let us know uh, any other information that we need to know down below. Just